ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله الذي لا عظيم. The icon comes up on the screen saying it's, it's being recorded, okay or not. But everything we do is recorded, whether we push the icon okay or not okay. Everything is uh, written in a clear record. What did I see today? Every day, one word makes me to be Delhi. I saw in Sheikh Mohideen's, I got the one hardback book. It may take me the rest of my life to even read it. It's bigger print. It weighs 50 pounds. Same print as the paperback, but bigger. He said, Sheikh Mohideen, Allah bless you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I'm paraphrasing, he knows everything. He knows everything that happens. He knows also what doesn't happen. Then he said something that made me to be, he knows what might have happened but didn't happen. What's going to be? What well, might have happened but didn't happen. And I'm remembering Mulana Sheikh Nasim, Allah bless him. It's his horse. I went to Imam Senate tonight. I forgot it was his horse. Somebody reminded me. We just passed it. Allah grants him endless happiness, endless stations. Daughter Jai. In the presence of Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Presence of Awliya and the presence of Subhanahu wa Ta'ala. He would say something. For instance, now if you look on the internet, the talk is all about war, World War III. All the podcasts are talking about the possibility of nuclear war. And he was always saying like that war is coming, war is coming, and he would give it time for it. If it didn't happen, he would say, Usually he wouldn't say anything, but one time he explained it for me. He said, I know why I say like that. When I say like that, their love of dunya comes down. And Sheikh Mohidin said, Allah knows what might have happened, but didn't happen. It's a big por portion of our mental picture. We spend our time worrying about what might have happened, what might happen. And what might have happened and didn't, some things were disappointed, it could have happened, but it didn't happen. Some things bad, alhamdulillah, we're worried about it and it didn't happen. Alhamdulillah. May Allah make us to have a good balance. How does he say it? The believer has to be between fear and hope, two wings. We're hoping for the best and fearing for the worst. And the believer has to be on two things. If only good hope, you don't do anything. There was a hadith. Prophet وسلم, was riding on his horse or his camel, what he was riding on. And he said, I think he said it to Sayyidina Omar. Somebody was riding next to him or behind him. And he said, if a person say, la ilaha illallah, it's enough to enter Jannah, paradise. Just to say la ilaha illallah one time. Or it's finished, you go to paradise. And the Sahaba was riding with him. I think it was Sayyidina Omar radiallahu anh, but Allah knows which one it was. He said, oh, Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, very good news, best news. Let me ride back and tell the others. And Prophet said, no, or else say no more. He said, no, don't do it. Why? If you tell them like that, no one will do anything. No one will work. No one will try. No one will pray. No one will fast. No one will, la ilaha illallah, go to paradise, finish. But it's a good tiding for us. 
I saw, I like to read a little bit, a little bit. I saw a book by Professor Chidik, William Chidik, translator of Ibn Arabi. He wrote one book uh, about a Sheikh Kashani. Let me see if I have it on this other iPad. Uh, Sheikh Kashani, he was one of the earliest Sufis. He, he said something interesting. He said, what does it mean to be a human? I'm jumping a little bit. Never mind. We come back to the main road, inshallah. What does it mean to be human? He said, for instance, he gave the example of a wheat plant, the plant that makes wheat. They make bread, bread and flour and cereal and bulgur and couscous and everything from that wheat. At one stage of its life, the life of that plant, it's a wheat plant, but there's no wheat yet. It's just a green, like grass growing, a green sprout coming, or corn, same thing. There's no wheat and there's no corn yet. But you say it's wheat, you say it's corn, but it's not wheat or corn yet. It has the potential to be wheat or corn. If nothing comes to stop it, no blight comes or no disease or no rain or no uh, fire or like that. That plant is going to be a wheat. That plant is going to be a corn. You call it wheat, but it's not yet wheat. He said that about people, human beings. We didn't come to be real human beings yet. We have the title human being. You say, what's it? That's a person. That's a person. That's a person. But yet we didn't reach it. And like like Mulana Sheikh, that Sheikh was exhorting people. He said, my words is for those who wish to strive to become fully human. Not lazy ones, not people they don't care. Not. And Mulana Sheikh, he was trying also always to get us to become fully human. He was using all the elements of Islamic teaching, Sharia, and praying, and fasting, and doing, but he had a purpose behind it. It wasn't only to, to pray and fast and do, he was, he, those things are tools to become fully human. In the practice of the religion is the tools for reaching our real potential, to go from a grass sprout to a wheat plant, or a corn plant, or an apple tree, giving apples or oranges or like that to be a real human not only to have the title but we didn't reach it we're asking to reach i'll make it short it's late you know the story an old woman in london left her apartment one day her flat to go see walana sheikh nazi and she was old and she couldn't see very well. She had a cane to walk with. And she got lost right away when she got into the street. A stranger came up to her and said, Oh, madam, are you lost? Can I guide you? Can I help you? She said, Yes, I'm going to see Sheikh Nazim. She was old. She didn't think the import of her words. She just said it. And that stranger said, oh, I know him very well. I'll take you to him. And she took him. She took, he took her walking until they reached Sheikh Nazim's place, Green Lanes. And then he said, Madam, here's one of Sheikh's place. I leave you now. You're in good hands. And he went. Sheikh Nazim came. And that woman said to Sheikh Nazim, oh, my Sheikh, the strangest thing just happened. What was that? I was leaving my flat. I got lost. And one stranger helped me, took me by the hand and led me to your door. And as we were walking, I was looking around. And I said, this is London, the London that I know, but it's not the same. The streets were 
so clean and beautiful. And the houses, the roofs and were gold and silver and domes. And it, it was so beautiful and clean place. I never saw it like this before. It was London, but not London. What was that, Yasin? He said, yes, that was one of Allah's people, someone who became really human. A wheat plant became wheat. When you become fully human, Allah gives you to be his deputy. He gives you a world to be his deputy in, no partners for you. He said he came to take you to his world. SubhanAllah. Asking to get up. Aulia are using everything, all the tools that an ordinary person uses in the Islamic books and in the practices, but with a purpose. With a purpose to get people to become real human beings, to reach their potential. <coughs> and they might use any way. There's always something behind their words more than what is obvious. Trying to reach. I told the people today, I've said that story before. I was riding once with Sheikh Hashem and I was new with him when he first came to US. We took a train, uh, all night train from Montreal down to New Jersey or New York. I forgot which station we went to, maybe Penn Station, New York. All night, stopping at every place. And I said to him at one point, Oh, Sheikh Hashem, I have to get back to Chicago. Quickly, it was summertime, see, because Moana said, war is coming, Matthew coming in September. And Sheikh Hashem said to me, what are you going to do if he doesn't come? He said, what? This was you. Who can say like that? No, Moana Sheikh said he's coming in September. He said to me, how do you know what kind of September he was talking about? Not which September. <laughs> This year, next year, but what kind of September? It means saying to me, I don't know anything. I don't know who I am, where I am, what's happening. I think it's like this, and it's we're in a different world. May Allah grant us. May Allah grant us to complete. Mulana Sheikh's teachings for us. It's his earth, his holy earth, the time of his passing, veiling from this world. One person saw him in a dream recently and said, Oh, Sheikh, you passed on. Where are you now? What are you doing? How can we reach you? What can we do? You're not here anymore. And Sheikh said to him, Deal with it. <laughs> in different ways, in Turkish, he said something. This is the situation. This is the situation. Imam Ghazali said, uh, how's it go? MashaAllah, Kana wa nam yashalim yakum? No. Asun, Lays al Makan, Asun Makan. Like that? Lays al Makan, Asun bi Makan. It's impossible to find better than what is. This is the best. So many meanings for that. Meaning, as long as we're like this, how people expect things to get better. Another meaning, this is the best thing. There's benefits and barakah and blessings hidden. You don't know it. You, it hasn't unopened for you. You didn't see it. You didn't appreciate it. Say alhamdulillah. Say alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala turns Bala and Tuniamat. Say Shukranilla. Allah keeps favors from being lost. Say Astaghfirullah. Takes us out from problems. It's our own fault. Oh, our Lord. Ya Rabbi. Astaghfirullah. We're asking forgiveness and asking Prophet Sallallahu to intercede for us and grant us our way to improve step by step. He said, Don't worry. I'm blindfolding my Marids. Not to look around and see visions and sights. I'm blindfolding them. And this is the answer for that person tomorrow also. The real training from Alana Sheikh, not to see miracles, not to hear 
uh, heavenly uh, addressings to go step by step, step by step, he reached the final. I'm not taking the blind fool till you reach the final destination. Otherwise, you stop there. You say, oh, I'm staying here. Look how the beautiful view. No, the beautiful view is the final point. And we have to keep doing our best, not to be lazy ones, to do our best. To keep our prayers, to keep everything, but to know it's for a purpose. For a purpose. To overcome our ego. To save ourselves from shaitan. To take away the love of dunya. Even Allah said, I made dunya tough for people. Still they love it. What if I made it easy for them? They'd never talk, uh, call on me. And the hawa, the shahwa, the desire. Even old man, oh, give me this, give me that. You're so old, you can't even get up from the bed. What you want? Never satisfied with anything. Never satisfied. May Allah grant us to get up to move up, to progress, inshallah, to become really human before we go from this life behind our be behind our fatiha. Amin. Allahumma ala Sayyidina Muhammadin Nabi Ummi